a good start to the morning uh, weather-wise and, uh, and now it's just starting to drizzle so I can't film out here for very long because uh, the electric equipment and, uh, and rain not such a good combination but uh, what do I want to let you know uh, so I have got energy and I am mostly pain-free so that means getting on with stuff and so this morning I have put out all the uh, pallet collars next to the beds that are waiting to have them made and uh, and measured up at the end of uh, this uh, new fence by the duck enclosure to see how much space we've got for a gate now if I cut down this pallet uh, and lower it in height and make it a bit more secure I can fix it to the gate post here that can become the support section for a gate. So this morning I have spent a useful half hour uh, changing the, well, the frame thing that we had uh, from a pallet into a gate. So I've added in uh, this bar and this bar and the two cross pieces and it just fits perfectly into the space uh, that I had thought it might be able to wriggle into. And on Sunday, uh, two of the little ducklings, well, the big ducklings, uh, are going off to their new home, uh, only about five miles away, so they're not far, and uh, which means that there'll be few enough ducklings uh, that we can actually put them all in with the older ducks, and they can all be integrated together in the one shed. Now, the good thing about this for me uh, is it means that I've only got one shed to clean out <laughs> on a twice-weekly basis, and although it will be uh, jolly poopy, uh, one shed is still better than two. And actually, the house that the ducklings are in, it's not, it's not an ideal house for, for ducks at all. Uh, so over the next year, I plan to create something that is more appropriate uh, for little ducklings than, than that, uh, that, that chicken house, which is actually really difficult to clean out. Anyway, so that's for the future. Uh, the other thing that's happening is that later on today, uh, in fact, just in a couple of hours time, Squeaky Two is going off to a new home uh, where he will have his own harem of girls and, uh, and hopefully will produce lots of lovely uh, cream leg bar babies over the next few years. I think that's enough using the uh, saw and uh, screwdriver today. Uh, there's no point in uh, shaking my hands more than necessary I know one day uh, it will all get done eventually and so I have still I've still got a bit of energy and I know uh, this afternoon I'm not going to be doing very much so uh, despite the wind picking up I'm going to tackle uh, some of these leaves behind me and uh, try and get them into a big pile uh, in, into a bag and into one of the compost bays uh, to use to make leaf mulch I also want to say a quick thank you to everybody who has really kindly uh, sent suggestions of things that I might be able to do while I am sitting still. Uh, it's been a great, a great array of suggestions. And uh, uh, but what I have done, oh, actually, this is exciting. This is exciting, and uh, I had a really good look online yesterday at courses that are available, and I found a permaculture design course. And uh, last year or maybe even earlier this year. I think it was last year. I can't remember. Not all that long ago, uh, I took the Introduction to Permaculture Certificate online and uh, it was easy peasy because it just, it fitted with a lot of the things I'm already doing and it just made, it made sense. So it put a theory uh, behind a lot of the practices that we do here anyway which was lovely, uh, but I have wanted to do uh, the, the full permaculture design certificate. Uh, and the best way I think to do that is to go to some fabulous place and do that in a group uh, at, at a permaculture design centre uh, or a permaculture school. Uh, but two things, A, 
don't have the funds to do that. B, traveling becomes really difficult. And, uh, and C, so three things. Uh, I don't really want to, <laughs> to be away uh, from the homestead for very long. Uh, I was about to say at this time of year but at any time of year actually i just don't want to be away don't want to stay away somewhere so uh, that would be the best way to do it but uh, i've kind of ruled that out for myself and so i have found the permaculture design certificate online the full 72 hour course at free of charge and i'm hoping <laughs> that there's a certificate at the end of it and if there isn't it doesn't matter it's absolutely fine i will have done the course and i will understand more i'll have a better understanding of all those principles behind permaculture and all the theories and uh, the practical steps to do a good permaculture design uh, on a property so that was yeah that's an exciting thing so i am going to uh, leave the link uh, in the information below uh, about that course so that if it's something that interests you uh, you can have a look at that too